What's up guys, it's Jeremy. So in this episode of Tech YouTuber Secrets, I wanna tell you all my secrets to getting a really good shot. Now, what I'm recording right now is what I would consider my perfect shot. I've done everything that I'm aware of to get the best scene going for me. But let's kind of downgrade to the basics right now. Okay, so right now, all I have going for me, I have my DSLR camera, the kit lens, no lighting other than this nasty yellow one in the room, and let's just go from there. So first of all, let's get the mic installed because that's one thing that bugs me the most. We need to fix it. Okay, so there's a few fundamentals to get your shot looking really good. Right now, the lighting is horrible. All I have is just a window open, so we do have a little bit of natural lighting, but we need to fill up the room with it. Next, we need to get this kit lens off the camera. After that, we need to get this thing out of auto mode. Auto mode sucks really bad, because right now it's filming at ISO 1600 F4.5, so we need to get the ISO down and the f-stop down as well, and that will make the shot much crispier and less grainy. So let's get started on everything. So first, let's turn on a few lights. There's one, two, and three. So we have two umbrella lights to the side and a light behind the camera just to fill it up and if I'm feeling um, dangerous or whatever, I have an LED light behind me that I'll turn on every now and then as well. So next, let's get this stupid little kit lens off the camera, because right now we're filming at f4.5, and, and I want to get to f1.8 for super crispiness. Okay, so now we have the kit lens off. As you can see here, we have the prime lens on. We have all the lighting on that I need, so we're good to go, right? One more thing. We need to get this camera off of auto mode because right now it's filming at f2.8 and I want to get that, that down a little bit lower and also it's filming at ISO, ISO 400 and I want that to be at ISO 100 if at all possible because what that means is it's going to get the grain down super low. So let me show you that. Okay, so now we're basically at perfect shooting conditions in my opinion. I have the camera focused on my face. I'm filming at f1.8, ISO is 100, so I could do no better on this current camera. I mean, the lighting could be a little bit better, but we're in tip-top shape right now. And the perfect thing is, when you're filming in manual mode, and you bring additional light into the scene, the exposure isn't going to change. The picture is super crisp all the time, no matter what you do to your camera. So let me show you just like a before and after about what I'm talking about. So here's a shot of my phone with auto on. As you can see, when there's motion and stuff, the exposure and lighting changes. Not very good, not very professional. Now when we turn it to manual, it stays crisp and clear. So we're good there. We're at 4,700 subscribers and I'm trying to get to 5,000 super quick. So keep the subscribers coming. I love all of you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.